Okay, so projectile motion, uh, we have different types of projectile motions here. Okay, so we have three types. The first one is called the vertical projectile. Vertical projectile means the angle is 90 degree. Okay, angle is 90 degree. Uh, when angle is 90 degree, that means the object actually is throw upward. Throw upward. So when it just merely throw upward, this is only uh, involve one component, which is the Y component. Yeah, vertical component. Uh, so this, this type of vertical projectile involve only one dimension. One dimension means it only has one component. Okay. So if this uh, vertical projectile is actually called free fall motion. So this is more to uh, free fall motion. It's not actually projectile motion, but uh, we can consider it as a projectile at 90 degree. Okay. But its common name is called free fall, free fall motion. Okay. Free fall motion only has Y component, only have one dimension. Okay. Or projectile at 90 degree. It can make the it can throw the ball upward, go up and go down. It's considered free fall also, or it just drop the object down. Uh, yeah, also called free fall motion. Yeah, uh, and then not necessarily the free fall motion must the object falling. No, the object if you throw the ball up, let's say if you you have a ball, you throw the ball up, and then it goes up. It goes up first and then goes back down. The whole, you know, the whole motion uh, going up and going down, the whole motion is still called free fall motion. Although, although the process when going up is not falling, it's still going up, it's going up, but we still, may, we still consider the whole thing as free fall motion. Later, we will learn about uh, free fall motion more detail. Okay, basically, what is it mean by free fall motion? What is it mean by free fall motion? The grab, the acceleration is due to negative g, due to gravity. Uh, that's all for that's all for free fall motion. Okay, uh, so this the, the object go up, go down. Yeah, even going up. Even going up, we also call this as free fall motion. Yeah. So vertical projectile only has one component, the y component. Okay. So now, uh, another two type is uh, we call it projectile at an angle. Projectile at angle means it's uh, it's not at ninety degree, but it's less than ninety degree. But it must have an angle. It must have an angle, so it's more than zero degree. Yeah. So this uh, theta is uh, be between 0 to 90. It can be 30 degree. Yeah, projected at an angle. It can, this angle can be uh, 30 degree. It can be uh, 45 degree. It can be 50 degree. Any degree actually be, be uh, below 90 degree. It can be 60 degree or 70. So it can be any angle. Any angle. Yeah. Uh, this is called projectile and angle. Okay. Projectile and angle. Uh, uh, and this projectile angle, it has two dimension. Two dimension means it has two component. It has S component and Y component. We will learn more detail about this projectile motion later on. Okay. Basically, the S component is a constant velocity. Constant velocity, I will show you a simulation for this. Okay, it's a constant velocity, but the Y component is the free fall motion exactly like this vertical projectile the free fall motion over here so this pr projectile and an angle actually is a combination between the free fall motion with uh, with another constant velocity both happen simultaneously uh, i will explain more about this later on the last one is called a horizontal projectile Horizontal projectile is uh, you project the ball at zero degree. Uh, you you throw the ball uh, horizontally, but because of gravity, because of gravity, the ball uh, falling down also at the same time. Uh, so for this one, you can see also has two component, it has x component and y component. It has two dimension. Okay, constant velocity. The x component is constant velocity, but the y component is a free fall motion. Okay, 
So these are the three types of the projectile motion that we will learn uh, in the later videos.